Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your HP ProBook 4430 running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to type in Reset. Best match should say reset this PC right above system settings. Just want to left click on that one time to open up the settings window here. Now on the right side underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on this get started button right here. So we're going to have two options here, either keep your files or remove everything. Please note, even if you saw Keep Your Files, it still will remove apps and settings, and I would still highly suggest creating a backup of your important files and documents to an external media source. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do a complete factory reset, which is going to remove everything, which is the second option I'm presenting with here. So I'm going to select that option here before we get rolling with it. We're going to have a couple more prompts we have to get through before we actually get to the reset process. So just hang tight. This will take a couple minutes. Okay, so it's going to ask if you want to clean the drives as well. You can either select just remove my files or remove files and clean the drive. So just removing your files, if you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would suggest clicking on that. Otherwise, if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, select the second option to remove files and clean the drive. But since I'm going to be holding on to my device, I'm going to select the first option just to remove my files. So it's going to say ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC. All apps and programs and any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button right here to begin this process. It will take a few minutes so please be patient. Once I think further narration is required I will jump back into the video. And just hang tight, stay patient and it should wrap up before you know it.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, so our HP ProBook has been reset to factory settings, so at this point feel free to reinstall any applications you have to remove in this process. Create a restore point or some backups would be recommended as well once you're done getting your computer set up, and you should pretty much be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.